First, we begin this morning with a somber reminder of the sacrifice a local deputy made one year ago today. Kern County Deputy Philip Campus was killed in the line of duty, answering a SWAT call in Wasco. 17's Robert Price met with some of the people closest to the fallen former Marine and has this report. For the families of Kern County SWAT Deputy Philip Campus, it's been an almost unbearable year. But it's also been a year full of pride, inspiration, and gratitude, not just for his remarkable life, but also for the remarkable support he's received from the community he gave his life defending. Those have been some of the gifts Campus gave his parents, his widow, his kids. Those are some of the gifts he gave his community, those who knew him and those he never met. Pride, inspiration, gratitude. When the SWAT team call out came, Campus and his wife Christina were working on a kitchen remodel. He dutifully stopped what he was doing and started assembling his gear. Christina said she would take the interruption as an opportunity to run errands. That elicited from him, I love you, number one. The sort of reminder spouses can't exchange often enough. They took off in different directions, but Christina heard from her husband once more. And he called me on his way and he just said, hey babe, I just wanted to call you because I'm listening to the call out and it sounds like it's getting pretty intense. So I just want to tell you and the kids that I love you guys and um, just he pretty much just told us how much he loved us and he just wanted to, us to know that just in case. We said I love you, we said our goodbyes. Kern County knows the rest of the story. A Wasco man had barricaded himself in his house and taken his family hostage. Oh. 911, what's the address? I need somebody really quick. There's someone with a gun in the house. He was armed with an AK-47 rifle and a handgun. He was shooting. <coughs> Lives needed saving. Campus arrived at First and Poplar Streets, prepared to do what needed to be done. He knew his job and he understood his role. He's a warrior, true and true. Like, he knew... He got the call, and he knew it's, it's time to go. And when he got there, they evaluated the, the, the situation, and there were people that were inside that needed our help. Kern County Sheriff's Deputy Julio Garcia, a fellow SWAT officer and a close friend. And there was no hesitation. They formulated a plan, and they went in, and they, they went in to, to save lives. That was Philip. This SWAT call, though, ended in tragedy, multiple tragedies. Jose Manuel Ramirez Jr. murdered his own wife and two sons that Sunday afternoon. Campus had charged the modest yellow house with one thing on his mind. In the crisis, save the innocent people inside. Maybe not even an hour, an hour, hour half later, I got a text that he was, he was hit and I needed to go to the hospital. In the end, five were dead, including the shooter and Campus. East High School football star, Marine, Afghanistan veteran, Sheriff's deputy, father, son, husband. Seth Karidi, a New York State trooper, was in boot camp with campus. They were best friends. We have a saying all the time, you can, you can either uh, live a coward or die a hero, you know. Yeah. And um, I know it's very blunt, but at the end of the day, yeah, that's yeah. basically what it's all about. And he did he exactly what he was yeah. trained to do. That's pretty much how he lived life. First. Jesse and Christine Campus went to Marine Base Camp Pendleton, northern San Diego County, to celebrate one of their son's passions, Devil Pups, a West Coast organization that gives high school kids a taste of the Marine Corps, the physical stamina, the mental toughness, the focus on team and country. It was Devil Pups graduation day, and the campuses and others, including Garcia, had to be there. Garcia recruited Campus to join the organization as an instructor five years ago. He still remembers the day Campus first showed up to see what Devil Pups was all about. He introduced himself, and then he said he was, he was a drill instructor from Paris Island. So me and the other deputies that were working together, and we're all Marines, we all looked at each other like, wow, drill instructor, Paris Island, and I was... From there, from that day, I think I was just, like, in awe with him. That very same morning, we went out and we, we, uh, we started doing our tryouts. And, man, he started with that, with that drill instructor voice. And from there, I, was, I think I was bought and sold right there. Lucky for those kids, they got the devil pup version of campus, not the full board drill sergeant of Marine Corps days. He broke you down and then when he taught you or trained you and then he saw the fruits of his labor, that's when he was the happiest. Philip Campus's drill instructor persona manifested itself out of uniform too. 
people were drawn to him. He brought life to whatever, whatever, whatever situation. He was the type of person that you would want to be around. Like, like, there's no way you're gonna walk around and not stop and say and say something, or be around him, or or listen to what he's got to say, and 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 almost and almost like try to be like him. Former Marine Dick Taylor has known the campus family for decades, and he too is deeply involved in the Devil Pups program. He says he caught a little glimpse of Philip out there on the Camp Pendleton parade ground Saturday. And it's it's encouraging today to see a year after Philip's uh, death that we still got kids that want to come out here, that want to come go through the program and be inspired by instructors like Philip. What did Liberty High Junior Ethan Grubbs get out of his Devil Pops experience? Service above self. I mean, I'm not too concerned with what I do, it's just, you know, more of what I can do for everyone else. Golden Valley High School senior Eleni Reyes Saramento said the ability to summon up courage is born of a mentality not possessed by everyone. I, I thank the people that can. I hope I can be a person like that. Teens getting their first taste of duty aren't the only ones who can learn from campus's example. His comrades can too. Again, Caridi. You kind of have a feeling of invincibility, I guess. You know, just you, you try not to worry about things like that. And then obviously, you know, there's there was no one more prepared than Philip. You know, it's just professionally, tactically, everything. And uh, when you hear something like that, it kind of it does shake you. But I know for a fact he'd be telling me like you can't, you know, you can't let this shake you. The campuses say over the past year they've been overwhelmed with support, affection, admiration. Campus's mother, Christine Campus said she was touched by something Kern County District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer told her at a memorial service. Those who, who knew him loved him, and those that didn't know him loved him. And that is just stuck in our heart, in our mind. I repeat that over and over because, you know, the community has surrounded us with love and support, and I didn't understand why. Like, he was just a boy that we raised, um, and, and he did well. But when she said that, that helped me to understand um, the love and the support of the community that we, we thank so much. I, I don't think I'd, I'll ever be able to thank anybody enough, and I just wish I could hug everybody. just want to make sure we say thank you to everybody in, the, in Kern County, in Bakersfield especially, and uh, the law enforcement uh, community. We really appreciate uh, all your help. You guys got to stay safe. Yes. If he was here right now, I, we would we would probably be cracking jokes and and being over here with the devil pups and and you know trying to be instructors like what, is what we do. And, and if he was here right now, he'd have that big old smile on his face, and we'd we'd all be happy. So I I, I do miss him. I I, uh, I miss his smile. I miss his voice. I wish you were here. At Marine Base Camp Pendleton, Robert Price, 17 News.